Hello, and welcome to the Rocky Mountain Carry YouTube channel. In front of me, I have got the CRKT Pete. I'm shooting this video in the dying light of the afternoon here. I apologize for the setup. Hoping this isn't too grainy, um, because natural light is the best I've got. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm going to have shadows everywhere. So I just decided to try to shoot this the light from the window as well as I can. But the sun is going down, and hopefully it lasts well enough for this video. Um, anyways, CRKTP, I did do a short on this one already. I'll probably be posting these together. But I wanted to do a full review on this one and get it out there now because this knife right now is only $19 at Blade HQ. And I figured it's a good time as any to throw this out there. Um, they've had it priced like that for a while now, and I believe this is discontinued. So I figure they'll probably just keep that until it's out of stock. I have no idea how much stock they have left. But I've seen it for a while now on Blade HQ for under 20 bucks. Um, I think anytime you get that kind of price on a knife, it used to be, this used to be more like 35, I want to say. Um, I think it's worth you know, at least talking about, having a look at. Uh, I've heard of people getting this for even cheaper in other places. I, I've heard mentioned that you could pick it up at Lowe's for like 10 bucks at one point. I don't know if that's still the case. Um, I haven't ever checked Lowe's, but anyway, you'll sometimes see CRKT at like Walmart or stuff like that even, but anyway, let's dive into this knife. Just kind of tell you how I feel about it. So we'll go, um, yeah, man, nah, review, just, just like usual. Go through each aspect of the knife here. So this is the CRKTP. Blade is 8CR13 MOV. This is black GFN handles. Blade, yeah, I actually really do like this blade. I love the shape of it. The reason I got this knife um, in the first place is because I just love the way it looked. Um, I got the... Pilar around the same time and was looking at this one too. I just like the size of knife. Um, it's a pretty small, I don't have dimensions on me. This is, um, the blade is under three inches. Um, I want to say somewhere around two and a half, something like that. And uh, yeah, smaller size knife. I was kind of looking for around that size. And the at the time, the Pilar was kind of all the rage, you know, it was getting a lot of marketing. Um, but I saw this one, I feel like it was kind of flying under the radar a little bit. I thought it looked really cool. So yeah, I just love the look of it. So yeah, blade, I love the look of this blade. Um, I think it's a good shape. Um, 8CR is like, whatever, but at this price point, like, sure, I think you can live with that. Um, it's stainless, it'll take an edge pretty easy. Very easy. Um, opening mechanism, I did give this one a nah. Is because it is one of the hard, I don't want to say it's hard to open. It's not hard to open, but it is a little bit more awkward to open than you would hope for. Um, that thumb hole, it works. So you can flip it open like that. Um, obviously, you can just ease that open. The reason, the thing that bugs me about it is there's really nowhere to get a grip on the back to try to reverse flick it. It really, oh, wow, I almost, okay, I just reverse flicked. That was the first time I've ever been able to reverse flick this knife. That was wild. Okay, you can reverse flick it. I stand corrected in my own video. That's hilarious. I've never been able to do that. What in the world? Okay, so you can reverse flick it. And now I'm doing it like every time. Holy crap. Maybe this becomes a man now instead of a non. The reason I didn't like it is, man, that was a big reason for me. Like the fact that you couldn't, are my fingernails longer than usual? What is going on? <laughs> I'm just now discovering that you can do this. What in the world? And I only do these in one take. I'm, all, I'm not doing another take of this. So you, you're watching me in real time. Just be blown away by this. Okay, see, I missed that time. I missed again. I missed again. So it's not... Okay, now I can't do it. So it's not easy to do, and I don't love that. 
the reverse flick like you really want to be able to reverse flick this because of that thumb hole but it's just not super easy so because of that the opening is not my favorite on it um and the action as well just not not great i mean it's fine like i said you can flick it but it's not great the lock on here yeah, it's meh it's a liner lock um and it's fine you see it gets over pretty far like that you can see it gets clear into the middle of the blade there but it is kind of like actuating it is a little bit of a chore um there is also a little bit of blade play here so not crazy it's i mean for the price it's it's not crazy but there's a little bit of play there so another thing i don't love about it give that one a meh the handle on here yeah i really i don't have problems with this handle the gfn at this price range is i'm totally fine with gfn don't really have a problem with it i like that the texturing on this is unique you don't necessarily see this texture everywhere and so that's cool it's kind of doing its own thing it, it's functional that texture works just fine feels like you can get a grip on it and then the the handle does i mean it does feel pretty cheap um, but to be fair it is cheap <laughs> it's an expen very inexpensive knife um yeah and i like that you can get a uh, four fingered grip on here, no problem. So, the size is really for me, it's just right. My hands are maybe slightly below average, um, and kind of got chubby fingers, but anyway, there's that. Um, clip on this thing, I said, yeah, I, I don't really have a problem with this clip. Um, it's got a really high scoop there it's deep carry which I do like I think deep carry is fine and then it is like easy in and out of the pocket so this like it's pretty loose like it's really easy to peel back so if you like a really solid like firm clip you might not love that about it um, but it does go in and out of the pocket no problem it does seem to like grip onto my um, pants pocket well enough um, I don't think it's really a problem of it, like, getting loose, but, but, that is the thing. Design on this thing is a yeah for me, like, I, I love this thing, dude, like I told you, I just fell in love with the design of this, thought it looked so good, um, it's just a really good looking knife, I feel like, it looks so cool, and for that reason alone, like, for me, it's worth getting it. It's a 20, less than $20 knife that looks really good. You got the shape of the blade for me is just, just doing it. Just working for me. Like I said, I like the kind of unique texture. Really like the blue um, spacer on this. Clip looks fine. Um, this is a Vox News design. And I am a big fan of uh, Vox News. So... Yeah, that's part of why it spoke to me, I think. So anyway, really cool looking design. Really in love with the way this thing looks. Uh, great entry level Vox News design if you're trying to get your hands on one of his. It's functional as well. Like I said, it feels really good in hand. There's no, uh, no jimping here. Um, no, there's a, a nice choil on there. Not really like anything for choking up with, um, but good for sharpening. Um, yeah, the jimping, I usually, I like to have jimping, but it's not a problem, honestly, it's just fine. Uh, fin finish on this guy. Uh, man, it's a basic CRKT. CRKT is not really known for their fit and finish. They put out a lot of knives um, they have they get a ton of different designers involved. They have a lot of options in the budget category. Don't do a whole lot of premium stuff. Um, and their fit and finish is not necessarily their, you know, anything that you people 
laud or not really what they're known for and yeah this is pretty average there's nothing that you're going to be blown away by probably seems like i had to center this thing um if i remember correctly and yeah there's no like major flaws with it necessarily but nothing super special as far as fit and finish goes overall i feel like i like this knife more than i should just like i said I, i'm in love with the design i think it looks so cool um it's a good size for me it's a really good size for edc um especially if you're trying to be discreet or like carrying somewhere that um you don't want to have a big oh, big old knife um if you don't want to draw attention really good still looks great carries well grip is fine so yeah just wanted to do a quick review on this guy just kind of show you overall i think it's cool i think for the for the money it's it's worth it like why not very cool vox design for 19 bucks i say why not um and as long as it's you know that price i figured i might as well get on here tell you guys about it in case you want to go pick it up great for gifting it's great for non-knife people um good to just have as an extra knife laying around throw it wherever you know don't really have to worry too much about losing um, whoa don't really have to worry too much about losing <laughs> I, I don't have to worry about losing it i say as i throw it behind my desk and potentially lose it um yeah it is nice that you don't have to worry about losing it because it's at that price point where you're under 20 bucks, you're kind of like, yeah, whatever, right? Not too bad. So that's it. That's the CRKT Pete. Totally forgot to do any sort of size comparison. So let me do that right now. I was telling you, it's kind of a smaller knife. Let's compare. Uh, let's see, what do I have handy here? This is the TRM Neutron. Slightly smaller than that. And that blade profile is kind of similar. And I love, absolutely love the blade on the Neutron. Um, and so that's probably why I was obsessed with this knife. Let's see, my spider coat's here. What's it comparable to? Well, here's a Delica. Obviously, you gotta throw the Delica out there, right? For comparison, slightly smaller than that Delica. What about the bug out? Everybody knows what a bug out looks like. So there you go. Hence the bug out. Um, got a native over here. It's closer. Here's this might be a closer comparison. This is um, Spider Co. Chaparral. Um, let's get that out of here. Compare you two. So that's what it looks like. Very, very similar size to the Spider Co. Chaparral, if you are familiar with that one. The Chaparral, if you're not familiar with the Chaparral, is a little bit smaller than the native. Okay. So it's just like a step down from these, like, kind of three incher knives, which I believe is what that size is. Um, so, yeah, that's that. How about, I want to show you the Pilar as well. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm moving the camera here as I do this, but let's just see what this guy, there it is. So another um, budget Vox design, as I'm running out of daylight here, is the Pilar. You can't even see that plate on my desk right now. But that's what it looks like. So it's pretty similar. Pretty similar in size. Here, let's get this. Pretty similar in size to um, the PLR. Maybe just the slight, slightest bit bigger. Okay, I'm running out of light, so that's got to be it for me. That's the end of this review. Thanks so much for hanging out, you guys. Um, Rocky Mountain Carry. That's been, this has been the review of the CRKTP. Until next time.